Hey friends, Leslie from A Friend to Knit With. Welcome to episode 37 of A Friend to Knit With podcast. Today is Sunday, March 18th. It's a Sunday morning and I thought I'd hop on here and talk a little bit about what's on your needles. So this is going to be a little bit of a different episode than what I usually put out there, but I have been asking you guys what's on your needles, so it's always not always about what's on my needles. And I find it just very interesting. I find new patterns and I have been sharing them in some of my previous episodes at the very end and you guys really like that. So I have a lot, I'm not gonna share all of them, but there are some free patterns, some paid for patterns, seems to be some accessories, sweaters, all different size needles, different types of yarn. So I really wanted to share that. Hopefully you'll be inspired to see some of them like I was. I am going to tell you what I'm wearing. If you don't know, this is the Shawlography from Stephen West. I went to Nashville during the week last week. And while I was leaving one of my dinners, I out the corner of my eye spotted a shawlography and I got so excited that I just made a beeline straight to her table and I, you know, was like, I love your shawl. I know you knit it. I knit one too. We're shawl twins. And she was very nice and concerned. But then all of a sudden I'm like, what am I doing? I am interrupting her dinner and she has, she's with a couple of other people. I was like, it's beautiful. Sorry to interrupt you. Goodbye. So I wanted to apologize to her for interrupting and I got on Ravelry to see if I could, you know, recognize her shallography and apologize and connect with her there. I really thought that I could find her on there. There are 8,700 plus shallographies out there in the world. I spotted one though. That was so exciting. I just loved that moment, honestly. I, as aside from interrupting her meal. I really did love it. That's what this is. So it's Stephen West does, you know, the mystery knit along. You probably know, maybe you don't. But this is 2021's Shawlography, or mystery knit along. I really enjoyed, I did two of them. I really enjoy making them. It's so much fun. The community is so much fun. The videos he puts out is so much, are so much fun. And they're every October for his mystery knit along. I, so when she was wearing it like this, so of course I could spot it all. It wasn't all scrunched up like that. It was all in its beauty and yeah. So. <laughs> Sorry, I interrupted your meal. <gasps> Anyhow, I, it inspired me to wear mine. I love it and I don't wear it that often and I should because they take a lot of time, a whole lot of time. Um, I don't know why I haven't worn it that much. I'm gonna try. It's on my needles. I have the Lento pullover. If you've never made one, I was one that well, never made one. If you've made one, you know it's just a great top-down raglan. I'm doing my raglans a little differently. I am, the pattern has you knit front and back on either side of the marker. And I am making one right and making one left on either side of the marker. And that'll give more of a little sort of an eyelid increase, which I thought went really well with this delicate yarn. Hopefully it's gonna work. Hopefully I have enough yarn. I, this is the third try for this yarn. It really wants to be something. And I think, I think it's gonna be happy being a Lento. So that's what's on my needles. Um, so let's talk about what's on your needles. All right. I'm gonna go ahead and I have them all pulled up here. First up, SC00 Bad Dive is making the Isabel Kramer Aldo sweater. 
and she's making the A-line version, a sport weight yarn, 22 stitches and 34 rows to the four inch gauge. It's on a US five needle. It is a paid pattern. And I'll read a little description about what the designer says about the pattern. Aldos's work seamlessly in the round from top down. First, some short rows are worked back and forth to shape the neck. The yoke is shaped by using a modified version of the contiguous set in sleeve method developed by Susie Myers. When the yoke shaping is complete, the sleeve stitches are placed on hold and the underarm stitches are cast on using the preferred method. From this point, the body is worked in the round to the hem where a single color twisted braid highlights the start of the ribbing. The sleeve stitches are picked up again to work them in the round top down using the same twisted braid to highlight the cuffs. No finishing required. Julie Oberhart is making the nostalgic sweater coat by Abby Ona McLaughlin. I have struggled with her name before in the past, but she is a new to me designer. I absolutely love that I discovered her. This is such a cool coat. This is in a worsted weight yarn, 19 stitches and 25 rows to four inches on a US six needle. It is a paid pattern. I'll read you a little description from the designer. The nostalgic sweater coat. The air is crisp, but the low afternoon sunlight illuminates the branches of the tree-lined street. From an open window somewhere in the distance, you can hear a familiar song, and you hum along to the tune as you stroll. Hands in the pocket, pockets oblivious to the chill with the turned up collar of your fabulous sweater coat. That's good. Stylistic influences from the 70s and the 90s, this classic garment can be worn as outerwear, as outerwear, or as a layering piece under an overcoat. Worked seamlessly, top down, the vintage inspired design features a tall dramatic rib collar, which can be buttoned up like a funnel neck or open for dramatic effect. The pattern offers several length options from cropped to lower hip to below the knee. The bodice can be worked straight with A-line shaping or to a fit and flare shape. Detailed instructions are provided for working the optional belt and pockets. Ray Crafts is working on the Snowflake by Tin Can Knits. This is a sweater worked out of DK weight yarn on a US 5 needle with 22 stitches to 4 inches the gauge. From the designer, everybody needs a holiday party sweater. For children, gaudy bright colors are fun. Grown-ups sometimes aim for something a bit classier. Either way, the crystalline lace yoke of this sweater adds a bit of sparkle and a pop to classically simple silhouette. Wear while sipping eggnog and hurting sugar-crazed kiddos. Goes from a newborn up to a 4XL. Petra is working on the Rose Cardigan by Andrea Mowry. The Rose Cardigan is worked in a sport weight yarn. 26 stitches and 36 rows is the gauge on a US 4 needle. This is a paid pattern from the designer. This open cardigan is a true adventure in knitting, combining unique sideways construction, cable fading, and exposed seams to create a flattering oversized domain style sweater that looks great on all types of figures. Knit in one color or four to suit your style. This sweater has a beautiful curved underarm that creates a lot of drape for an oversized look with long slim cuffs and give you different styling tips. You can either wear them long to accentuate the slender portion of your arm or cuff them for a shorter sleeve. The Skipper Knits is working on the Dream Sweater by You Knit. This is knit in a sport weight yarn the gauge is 25 stitches and 36 rows for four inches on a US four needle. This is a paid pattern from a zero to three month up to a four. Maggie Keller is working in the Tesoro sweater by Knititude. This is definitely one of those sexy sweaters. I love that you're making this, Maggie. This is knit out of a DK weight yarn on a US six needle. 22 stitches and 30 rows is a paid pattern. The description from the designer is wanting to pay homage to love. The Tesoro sweater, which means sweetheart in Italian, is delicate, feminine, and classic, making this top a perfect for date nights with your special someone. 
Knit for the majority in the round, this sweater has roughly two to four inches of negative ease designed in, making it perfect to accentuate your curves. Knit bottom up with a seamless three needle bind off at the shoulders. This pattern includes ribbing, short rows, which create the signature sweetheart neckline, classic stockinette, and an eye cord for a polished finish. It's available from a 28 inch bust up to a 62 inch bust. Glenda is working on the Collins sweater by Thea Coleman. I love all these squishy cables. This is knit out of an Aran weight yarn, 16 stitches and 20 rows is the gauge on a US 8 needle. This is a paid pattern. The notes from the designer say that the Collins is an attention getting twist on the classic cabled, Aran cabled cardigan. An asymmetrical shawl collar with an elegant tie added to the cabled cardigan. It's still classic enough to be wearable with jeans and boots or a great fall skirt, but it's just a little different. Collins features a more fitted shape, a short length, and the long off center tie to make it modern. Liz Apple is making the drawing sweater. This is fabulous. It's out of sport weight yarn on a US size six needle. It's available from a medium up to a 3XL. It is a paid for pattern color work. There aren't any notes from the designer, but as you can see, stranded color work. D Nordfors is making the gingerbread from a Spostra Co. This is done on a fingering weight yarn holding light fingering and a lace together. 21 stitches and 28 rows is the gauge on a US size six needle. This is a free pattern by a Spostra Co. The note from the designer states as a basic raglan pullover, which is knit in the round from the top down and features twisted rib at the neck, cuffs, and hem. It has a boxy alter crop silhouette, a shape that is easy to wear over dresses and tunics or with high-waisted skirts and pants. Consider it the little sister to our bright side sweater. Sue McCord. We can thank Sue for making the head covers. She was my only test knitter, so thank you, Sue, for doing that. Um, hopefully, if you're making those, those or if you've made them, you are not running into any issues. Uh, Sue is making the Copper Fox hat by Lisa McFetteridge. It is knit out of a worsted weight yarn, 21 stitches and 26 rows is the gauge on a US 7 needle. This is a paid for pattern. From the designer, the Copper Fox is a favorite restaurant in Springville, Vermont. It is graced with many paintings by a local artist. Some depicting a fox. I love the foxes and the food, so here is my tribute to the name and the art. Knit in Malabrigo Rios, Sunset and White. Any color can be paired with the white. Any worsted that meets gauge can be substituted. The eyes and the ears and the nose are duplicate stitched on after the knit is complete. Elizabeth Nance, Libby, she goes by just like my Libby, is making the Lady Sunshine Gloves by Julia Mueller. These are knit in a fingering weight yarn on a US 1 needle, giving a gauge of 34 stitches and 46 rows to the 4 inches. This is a free pattern on Ravelry, as well as all of Julia Mueller's patterns are now free as she will not be designing anymore or keeping up with her Ravelry account. So she said, have fun, but there will be no email support if you have problems or questions. Um, but she has many patterns, as you can see, that are free for gloves. Julie Knits in the Woods, she's from Pennsylvania too, hi Julie, is making the Nordiska by Caitlin Hunter. It is knit out of a fingering weight yarn, on a US 4 needle with a gauge of 20 stitches and 28 rows to 4 inches. This is a paid for pattern. The note from the designer is that Nordiska is a modern take on a classic Scandinavian style. I was inspired by a traditional motif from Norwegian Marius sweaters, reimagined in a loose drapey fabric and updated silhouette. The sweater fits with an oversized crop fit, high modest v-neck and deep armholes. 
You can easily knit this design longer in both body and sleeves if desired. Teresa Allen is making the Lana Pullover by Claudia Q. The Lana Pullover is worked on a fingering weight yarn holding two strands of lace together on a US size six needle, 21 stitches and 21 rows. This is a paid for pattern. From the designer, the Lana Pullover is a versatile sweater with scalloped details along the neck and cuff that you can easily customize, make it plain or with eyelets, oversized or fit. This is a great one if you're looking for a yoke sweater that doesn't have collar works, kind of like the Ranunculus. This would be a great one for that. Rhonda Cutler is finishing her Monday sweater. Monday sweater is worked out of a DK weight yarn on a US size six needle, 21 stitches and 28 rows is your gauge to four inches. It is a paid for pattern. Note from the designer is the Monday sweater is worked from the top down with raglan increases to shape the yoke. The neck rib edge is folded and knit together to form a double neckline, neck band and short rows are worked at the back of the neck to shape the neck line and raise the back. The sleeves are worked in the round on double point needles or in a circular needle using the magic loop technique. This goes from an extra small up to a 5XL. Our friend Jennifer Barrett just finished the Lento and this is what I am working on now. This is knit out of a fingering weight yarn on a US 10 needle. It goes from sizes one up to nine. It is a paid for pattern. Lento is a simple and timeless sweater. It is knitted from top down in the round with raglan increases. The yoke is shaped with short rows. After the yoke is completed, the work is divided into the body and the sleeves, which are then knitted separately in the round. All right, Liz Lockerchies, Lori Keys is working on a Musselberg hat. I have seen so many of these around. I absolutely love them. It goes from a baby to an adult to an extra large. The note from the designer is the original swatchless hat pattern, a double layered beanie with four point crown shaping. The multiple gauge pattern now includes nine gauges for yarn weights between light fingering, DK, six sizes. So what she says is if you have a single skein of yarn, you're not sure what to do with, and you need something simple to keep your hands busy while on a Zoom meeting looking for a gift for anyone and everyone will appreciate. Want to cast on right away without any prep? This is your pattern. Everyone that does make one of these seems to love it. I'll do one more. Michelle McClellan is, first of all, she's going to make the fancy sweater, which I showed last episode in Peanut and Pop Rocks. Michelle, that's going to be amazing. She is working on the home sweater V-neck. The home sweater is knit in a DK weight yarn on a US 8 needle, 16 stitches and 25 rows to the gauge. This is a paid pattern. The note from the designer, the home sweater is a drop shoulder V-neck sweater that is slightly oversized. It is a timeless classic that will keep you cozy and in style even when you just want to hang out at home. It is constructed from the top down. First, you will work the stitches from the back. After that, you will work the left side with the right shoulder as well as the front to shape the V-neck and armholes. A few videos are included in the pattern. The home sweater is worked flat and in the round. It features a classic rib around the neck, side slits to the body ribbing, and slightly wider cuffs on the sleeves. It is available from a extra small of a 41 and a half inch up to a 5XL, which is a 67 inch bust. I'm gonna go ahead and stop there. I hope you found some things to inspire you. I hope you found some new patterns that you're going to move move into your favorites or move up to your number one spot in your queue. There are some amazing patterns. I think, unfortunately, some of the patterns out there don't get traction and don't get noticed because they aren't the hottest right now. They're not the top 20 on Ravelry and they are not the you know hottest over on Instagram, but there are some truly amazing patterns that you know maybe you would like to. So thanks for sharing some of those things with me, friends. And until next time, I will go, I will share more. 
I probably will do them at the end of my videos. Maybe I will do a whole nother video if I have a whole nother. I have a lot more <laughs> to share. So thank you for sharing with me. I so appreciate it. And until next time, I'll be over here working on my Lento. Hopefully I'll be back to show it to you. And if not, then I'll just do a whole nother what's on your needles episode. I liked it. I hope you did too. I hope you love what you're working on. And until I see you again, take care of yourself. All right. Bye.